Hi, this is Charlie Page, and I want to share an idea with you that really can set you free and change everything for you when it comes to your online business and making money online. So many people that I speak to struggle to make money online because they're trying to promote all these ClickBank products and other types of products. And there's nothing wrong with these products per se, but what they're doing is they're just promoting products and sending traffic, cold traffic, directly to a sales letter and it's not working and they wonder what they can do. So one of the people that I follow online is a guy named Brian Dean at Backlinko. Uh, Brian's great, he's a genius when it comes to content marketing and getting visitors. Here's the email I received today and it says, I'm gonna show you my exact content strategy. That got my attention because I teach content marketing and I do it. And it helped him grow to 392,000 visits last month. So, okay, he's got my interest. We'll click here and take a look at the post. Here we are at his website. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but he's got 2,049 shares, so it's probably pretty popular. That's typical for him. Uh, Backlinko.com, it's a fantastic blog. It's something worth taking a look at. And if you're not following him now, it's time to get his newsletter and follow him. All right, here's what I want to share with you. The eight step content strategy for 2019. And there's one specific thing I want to show you that's much, much too long to go into all eight steps, but here's proof about the 400,000 visitors, etc. And what he does is he likes to do long blog posts. And so he'll do a table of contents at the top of a blog post, which is great, great strategy and also great for the reader, and so everybody wins. He likes to create pillar posts, long posts, and that's also something that's worth doing from time to time. You don't have to do it every time. So he's got choose your topic and keyword, and on down here he says promote your content. I wanna show you what he recommends about promoting your content. Now, I want to emphasize this is today, right? This is April 3rd, 2019, as I'm recording this, that's today. So this is not an outdated technique that he's kind of recommending. How does he recommend you promote your content when you have a blog and you create a blog post that you're proud of? How does he recommend you promote your content? Let's take a look. Step six, promote your content. You've got to actively promote it, right? Look at this. Let's take a look at how. Email newsletters. Now, a lot of people are out there saying right now, newsletters are dead. The day of the e-zine is over. It's not dead at all. In fact, newsletters aren't dead. They've just changed and they've changed for the better. This has worked since the 1990s and it continues to work today for one very good reason. People want information. And when you're the provider of the information in a newsletter format, People get to know you, they get to like you, they get to trust you, and they will buy from you. Huge newsletters like Newsmax, huge newsletter companies like Archimax have proven this year after year after year. Is it sexy? Is it new? Is it shiny? Is it social media? No, it's not. It's email marketing. And by the way, that is what works. Take a look at this. This is huge, he says, and an email list is the number one content promotion tool on the planet, period. Now, this is a guy who is an unimpeachable source of information. He walks the walk, he talks the talk, and walks the walk. He does the work. And here's what he's saying. The number one content promotion tool on the planet. This guy's post has been shared 2,049 times so far. You'd think he'd be trumpeting social media, and he uses social media. But he's saying the number one tool is an email list. I know you get tired of hearing it, but if you don't have an email list, you're at the mercy of someone who does when the time comes that you want to promote for yourself. And newsletters work as well as they ever have. In fact, better if you know what you're doing. Now, let's see what he considers his newsletter. This is why I share most of my posts with my email newsletters. This is what he considers to be his newsletter because it's an announcement about something new and something important. It doesn't look like a st stuffy corporate newsletter. No, it really doesn't. It looks like an email from a friend. And let me tell you, I open his emails every single time. He's one of about 10 people that every time I get an email from him, I'm reading them. 
let's go down to what type of newsletters is he looking for. And I want you to pay special attention to this part because here's what he's doing. As a creator of content, he's reaching out to people who publish newsletters, who publish e-zines, and he's saying, would you include my content? Remember, there is no cost at all for this. A little bit of work, zero dollars out of pocket. Now, he says content roundups are the way to go. If you're not familiar with them, they're roundups that curate. That's exactly what I teach at Curation Power. Roundup content from the week. So here's an example of one that he gives, Vine Spring. It's a good one. And here's what he says about promoting your content to link roundups. Now, I've covered link roundups before, and uh, you can find that information easily on my blog. Here's what he says. Your pitch actually makes their life easier. When you offer them your content, you're making their life easier because Roundup curators regularly struggle to find content. And when you suggest your new post, it delivers content on a silver platter. That is absolutely a positively wonderful way to do it. And if you watch this little video right here, he gives you the exact template he uses to reach out to newsletter publishers. Now, this leads me to the how-to part of this. What he's saying is this. He's saying if you publish a blog and you've got content, you've got to promote that content. But how do you do that without breaking the bank? You reach out to newsletter publishers and you offer them your content. He even gives you the uh, content template, the template he uses to email them. What if you were the newsletter publisher? And what if every day you received 8, 10, 12 different offers for content that you could put in your newsletter? What if all you had to do was gather up some excellent links that you know are good links that are interesting articles to you and publish them in your own newsletter? One more thing. What if you could only use your autoresponder to do this? All you need would be an autoresponder and a landing page. That's exactly what I'm teaching at Autoresponders That Convert. I want you to go to autoresponders.thatconvert.com and take a look at this because this has been one of the best group coachings I've ever done. It's the most well-received and it's really empowering people to do the type of thing that Brian is talking about. It allows you to use almost nothing other than your autoresponder to create your own online newsletter so that you can sell advertising to other people and so that people like him can reach out to you and say, would you consider featuring my content in your newsletter? You see, they're writing the content for you. You're gathering it up, you're curating it, and then you're publishing it out using your autoresponder to the people who join your list. Inside Autoresponders That Convert, I'm teaching this specific newsletter technique. I'll show you exactly how to create a newsletter and how to get subscribers. I hope you take advantage of this because if you are like so many people, you've run ads and you've bought ads and you've tried to find products to promote and you are still not making a steady, reliable income, you're not building a list, you're not building a business, you're, you're going from one thing to another and nothing's working very well then it may be time for you to become a newsletter publisher by simply rounding up or gathering or curating other people's content, put it in an email, send it out to people who subscribe, and then people like Brian Dean can reach out to you and say, would you consider using my content in your newsletter? When that happens, that's a beautiful and automated thing. This is Charlie Page. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you go to autoresponders.convert.com and take a look. And I hope, too, that you go to Brian's website at Backlinko. Let me go to the top. A lot of scrolling there. Hold on. I'm getting there. Backlinko.com and take a look at this eight-step content strategy for 2019. If you blog like I do and you run a newsletter or want to like I do, this is a must-read. And I'll tell you this. Having your own newsletter, which you can see he does, is absolutely the easiest way to build an income online because you're not selling anything. You're not pitching anything. You're not begging people to buy anything. What you're doing is finding and sharing 
the best content possible in one specific topic. Now your topic might be dog grooming, it might be child raising, you know, parenting, it could be school, it could be investing, it could be anything. There's a need for content out there in every conceivable topic. And the proof of that is that Google's the biggest website in the world. People are searching, searching, searching. Let them find you. And you can be the guide pointing them to high quality content that will help them. And in the process, you'll make money by having them on your list and making offers to them that are appropriate to what content you're producing. Okay, this is Charlie Page. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, just contact me and go make a newsletter today. You can do it. If you're interested in a topic, you've got what it takes to create a newsletter. All you need is an autoresponder to get started. Thanks, and I hope you have a great day.